Welcome back to News 6 at 4. Our Florida space race coverage continues. One of the faces of the future of space flight is SpaceX founder Elon Musk. His commercial space company is arguably the most successful in the world. But because it's not a public company, Musk doesn't have to tell the public what he's doing it or how he's doing it. So we sent Eric Von Aiken to SpaceX headquarters in California to try to get an inside look at how Musk does these things and why. This was the first ever SpaceX Falcon 9 booster to launch and land successfully at the Cape. Now it sits on a street corner here in Hawthorne, California, in front of the SpaceX factory. And right here on the sidewalk on the other side of this thick glass wall is as close as we could get. For more than a month, we asked the media relations team inside this building if we could see inside this building. And for more than a month, we were told probably as long as there wasn't a launch when we visited. Well, SpaceX did end up launching the week we visited in June, and so we were not allowed inside. Very few news crews are. Tours are given, apparently. We spotted dozens of families with strollers filing into the warehouse past armed security guards dressed in all black that looked like they were picked for a movie role. CBS News recently got a tour and an interview with SpaceX's chief operating officer, Gwyn Shotwell. People have said we are crazy since we started. Shotwell said SpaceX is pushing for a 2022 launch to Mars and then a manned mission just two years later in the gigantic stainless steel spacecraft under construction called Starship. You want a backup strategy? Maybe a couple of backup strategies. The moon could be one, Mars could be one. And to get there, it's well known in the aerospace industry that SpaceX runs a tight ship. Several former SpaceX workers tell us 60-hour work weeks are normal. Pressure and deadlines are intense. And if a project falls behind schedule, the lowest producers can find themselves out of a job in one sudden swoop. You work here? Please refer all inquiries to media at SpaceX.com. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the official statement? It's line. You can't say anything. Yes. These are for all inquiries to media at SpaceX.com. We just want to know, what's it like working here? Please refer all inquiries <laughs> to media at SpaceX.com. <laughs> and still, there is almost cult-like loyalty. We just want to know what it's like to work here. Um, it's good, yeah. We it's really good. like it. Loyalty from workers proud to show up at work with their CEO's other venture, Tesla. Loyalty from fans. Professional, one, two, three. Who ranks SpaceX just as high as the Hollywood sign or Rodeo Drive on their LA must-see list. Why do you want to take a tour? Okay, uh, I want to see where I'm going to work at someday. No. <laughs> and loyalty from people who would give anything for that pressure and deadlines and long hours and the chance to make history in spaceflight as SpaceX has done so many times already. It's revolutionary, honestly. Like, it's amazing. And that's what struck us the most, really, that every single worker I talked to filtering out of that factory in Hawthorne, California, late into the evening, really, really loves SpaceX. I talked to a lot of workers. Some are leaving at 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. They tell me it's the culture there. Some work late into the night because you stay until your job is finished. You do not go home, and you do not go home early. And the pay at SpaceX isn't great relatively, at least compared to some of the other aerospace companies, but every single person, every single worker is all in because of the chance, Matt, that they could be part one day of a rocket, possibly, that gets to Mars first. That, they say, is why they do it, to be a part of that.